Hey YouTube, Kayak DIY here. Right now we're going to go over how you can build this kayak cart. Uh, not all of the components are glued together, but we didn't want all of the components glued together because this kayak cart is going to store in the front hatch of our Hobie Pro Angler. And so we wanted to make it so it came apart and that's how we designed it. So some of these dimensions may end up changing based on what kind of kayak you have. You may have to change up the design a little bit, but this is here just to give you a little bit of inspiration so you guys can get out there and build your own. Started off with using a hacksaw and I ended up cutting an axle for this cart. The axle is made out of threaded rod, which looks like this. Then I ended up using the cutting shears. This here is a PVC ratcheting cutting shears and I used that to cut all the PVC for this cart. And I glued the fittings together with all-purpose cement and primer. You apply the primer first then the cement. But let me show you what pieces I actually fixed together and glued together and which ones I didn't. So as you see along the side here too we also have cut pieces of Nerf which are going to go on the ends here when the cart is completed and then we are going to actually paint the cart with this Bondo heavy duty rubberized undercoating which is salt spray salt water resistant. It is good quality stuff and it's going to protect this PVC and make sure that it lasts as long as the kayak does. So without further ado let's get started on the measurements for this build. All of the PVC is made out of one inch PVC and you'll see orange dots on here. The orange dots that are on the fittings here, 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 and here, those are areas that we're not going to glue. We are otherwise going to glue the other areas. We're going to glue here, we're going to glue here, but we're not going to glue here. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Now we start off and we have a cap. Then we have the handle here. This is what we use to maneuver the cart underneath the kayak and it also acts as a stand for the cart when the kayak is not underneath it or on it. Uh, we have 20 or 24 inches we're recommending as the length of this and then we go to 4.5 inches, 4.5 inches we have two T fittings on the sides here and then we have a cap with a 5 8 inch hole drilled through to accommodate the axle and a 5 8 inch hole drilled on this side as well and then put, fixing these caps to the T's we actually have a 1.75 inch piece of PVC right here too as well and then we have 3 inch PVC and a 3 inch piece of PVC and then going and looking from the top we have 8 inches, 8 inches, 8 inches, 8 inches, all connected by these T fittings. So here's a look once more at the measurements. And reminder that the orange dots mean those are areas that you're not going to glue together. Now, the area that has the 8 inch PVC pipe, those are going to end up getting Nerf noodles slid on. These are just children's pool float noodles. And that's what's going to pad these bunks 
up against the kayak. Now let's take a look at how the axle fits onto the wheel. You will see here we used this kit. It comes with four of each and we have one set here, one set here, one set here, and one set there. So here's a look at the finished product after we use the Bondo rubberized undercoating. It looks pretty good.